Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. So, today we go through for the topic 6 about the roof plan drawing. So, last week we already covered for the floor plan uh, drawing. Okay, so this week we go through for the uh, roof. Okay, what is about the roof? Eh? Introduction about the roof is a scale drawing of the diagram of proposed roof development containing dimension of the entire roof structure including shape, size, design and placement of the all material ventilation, drainage, slope and valley and more. A roof plan is a vital part of the planning stage for any new roof construction and also for any renovation, repair or extension work being the performance on the existing roof. A roof plan is a commonly drawn to a scale 1, um, 1 per 8 inch per floor foot and 1, uh, 1 60 inch per foot. Okay, so the anatomy of the roof and when we look of the pictures, okay, they have the plumbing, ventilation, the hips, space inside, Profile, profiles, eh, chimney, uh, fill roof, reeds, eh, yang berada di atas ni, skylight, eh, skylight saddles, uh, ada flashing, this one, this area flashing, uh, ada rake, eh, ada if, ada reeds, damas, eh, chimney saddles, yang ni, ada gutter, Eh, rata ni selalunya berada di bawah ada sofit di bawah and then the fascia board yang warna ni eh, that is a benda-benda anatomy of the roof yang kamu kena understand eh, berkaitan dengan roof ok, the typical of the roof plan is simple 3, 2D drawing with a flow show a bird eyes and eh, view of the roof annotation can be made to the further explain specific aspects such as a ridge and slopes as well as the roof pits and are drawn to the same scale as an accompanying floor plan. Sometimes the roof plan will be included on the largest site plan without requiring the separate roof plan document. Okay, so kalau yang katakan tu ni lah. Ini this picture is about the roof plan. Sometimes there are the floor plan here. Eh, mesti ada dia punya. Roof plan. Eh, yeah, mesti je lebih kurang dengan floor plan. Okay, roof framing plan. Not to be confused with the standard roof plan. A roof framing plan is a focus on the fundamental structure and support used in the construction of the roof. A roof framing plan which will be necessary for the more complex project, both commercial and domestic. The framing material are detailed with the specific measurement and convey vital information about their construction and current position. New development will require a roof framing plan to the determine how the proposed roof will be framed and support. Not every framing plan will contain information on the specific framing material. The more complex of the project, the more information and framing plan will be contained. Semakin besar kamu punya plan, semakin detail lah kamu punya. Uh, semakin besar kamu punya projek, semakin besar lah dia punya detailing of the plan. Okay. The roof framing plan show size and direction of the construction member that are required to the frame a roof. Okay, this is a plan of framing of the roof. Eh, kita boleh nampak di sini. Alright. Dia ada rafter. Eh, dia ada dia punya... Uh, Uh, apa lagi kat sini ada reach dia dia punya orang kata frame dia frame framing tu dia punya yang support kamu punya berada dalam tu bumbung kamu right roof elevation and the roof elevation drawing a side view of the building name for the direction from which the building is view okay? so they have the salt Elevation is north and west. So, kalau kamu tengok dekat situ, kamu boleh nampak lah dekat sini. Okay. This one is a your building. Okay. This is a west elevation. Dia punya view macam tu. Eh, so, elevation punya view macam mana. Is elevation punya view and not elevation punya view of your 
Holding. Kita boleh nampak eh. Based on apa? Dia punya ni lah. Dia punya elevation punya view. Okay. Type of the roof. Okay. So, they have the uh, many of the type of the roof. Yeah, for uh, for example, is a gable, gable roof. Yeah. It's easy to build, shed water well, yeah, provide for ventilation and can be applied to most house design. Extra wall uh, lead up to the gable is more expensive to build, can collapse from the winds. And then the hip hop hip roof. Yeah. Uh, aesthetic pleasing could be cheaper than the gable roof because there is a less exterior wall and more roof material, more wind resistant. Uh, slightly more difficult to build than a gable roof does not provide as well for ventilation. And it's the standard yeah, bumbong yang ada kat Malaysia. Flat roof and uh, most economical to build. As little to a design require build out of membrane roof covering bad ideas for raining and snowy climates. Eh, kenapa dikatakan bad idea for raining and snowy, uh, snowy climate? Eh, dia boleh menangkung air atau menangkung uh, apa? Uh, snow lah, snowy. Eh, sekiranya semakin banyak snowy di atas tu, dia akan membuatkan bumbung kamu boleh collapse. Uh, sebab tu tak sesuai untuk uh, iklim yang ada snow. Ataupun uh, Dekat tempat kita eh, Ataupun tropical punya Yang mana kita menampung hujan yang banyak Jadi tidak digalakkan Menggunakan flat roof eh, Apa yang dikatakan flat roof ni adalah Kosong hingga 10 Degrees dikatakan flat roof Okay, shade roof Okay, similar of the flat roof But has a pitch eh, eh. Frequently use the additional for with the other roof style, right? And another is a wingle cable, A-frame roof, folded plate roof, curved panel roof, mansard roof, Dutch hip roof, and gambrel roof, butterfly roof. And so on. Eh. So the element of the floor plan. Eh, apa element yang for the floor uh, floor plan? Roof plan is a first is a slope and pitch. Eh, dia punya tajah kecuraman dia. Eh, the slope is far above the one of more essential element of the roof design because it assists the roof uh, gestationing water away, where it cannot cause any damage. Even the flat roof have the decrease of slopes. As a which them, as I said earlier, degrees of slope untuk uh, flat roof kosong hingga sepuluh. Eh, sebelah ke atas dia bukan flat roof. Alright, associate with them around a water to the direct away. Associate the slope is also called the pitch of the roof. Roof slope is description of the angle that the roof rafter make with the horizontal reference. It compare the horizontal run to the vertical rise. Okay, figuration of the slope and define the pitch of degrees. So, uh, 5 degrees pitch of pretty flat and 45 degrees pitch of pretty step. Before the slope of the roof and the ratio of the rise over the run, the ratio always use 12 inches as a run path. Okay, okay. ini kamu boleh nampak eh, rafter line dia macam mana. And dia punya overhang dia. Run rafter. Rise of the roof and the rafter, span of the roof, eh, itu yang kamu kena tahu sikit sebab kita ada, ada calculation eh, for the uh, roof, eh, pitch. Eh. And then ada span, run, rise, kena identify. Span tu apa, run tu apa, rise tu apa. Okay, so for example ni dia bagi tahu 314, 312 inches adalah span, eh, 152 untuk uh, run. And X the rise tak tahu berapa. So, nak dapatkan X tu macam mana? Ini dia punya calculation of the pitch. Eh? X bagi 162, 156, sama dengan 5, bagi 12. Okay, so that dia punya result dia adalah 65 degrees. Alright, so 65, eh, bukan dia punya degree, dia punya ketinggian dia. So, dari situ baru kita boleh dapat identify dia. Yeah? Tinggi aja, eh, lima dua belas tadi. 
Okay. So ini uh, roof pitch part chart eh rise of the inches eh and 12 11 tadi kita boleh nampak eh one foot run. Uh, under 30 macam itu view dia 30 to 45 macam ni yang paling bagus over 45 ni dia tinggi lah. Okay the hips. Okay hips ni yang sini eh. The hip is clarified as the point where the two adjoining portions of the roof meet. This important design element play the integrate part of the roof because it's a represent both of aesthetic component and functional one. Aesthetically, it gives roof a rich appearance which can increase the area and attic of the room below the hips. And functionally, the ridges are used for the divert water into the direction of the another, contributing to the overall slope of your roof ok so yang ni kita boleh nampak eh itu dia punya element dia ok the valley valley are the opposite of hip but are formed because of the hip valley are the low point of the meeting section and generally are the place where water end up when it's a roll down whips valley serve to the collect water and funnel in into the gutter of the, of the roof because the gravity direct water from hips to the valley to the gutter valley play a integrated integral floor role in the roof design in the ambler because without them hips may funnel water into the section where it's just left to the pole okay so this is a valley rafter okay this is a rich bowl common rafter Okay, yang tengah-tengah ni. Okay, so dia ada rata. Tails. Top plate ni tadi. Okay, another is a roofing material. Okay, what the, the really bring a roof together in protective roofing material use the first line of defense from the traditional effort singular to the tar and slate on the other common roofing material that material that at top of the roof largest responsible to the functionality it has its own pros and controls depending on the application which can serve a uh, homeowner of the business with the prime function when applied correctly okay so yang ni adalah trusses ya and dia ada plywood ya dia under layers and covering ya depend roof covering ni ada yang guna metal deck ada clay tile ni eh, ada menggunakan uh, daun pisak daun daun rumbia eh, ataupun daun kelapa uh, dia depend tapi dia ada underlay underlayment and plywood okey another is a gutter and down spot eh, ini adalah gutter eh, down spot adalah yang air jatuh ke bawah daripada gutters eh, so ni kamu kena identify Lepas tu ada if and the overhang of the roof at the wall perform evolution function part of the appearance they protect the wall from the bad weather if overhang exterior wall is 12, eh, 12, 12 inches line the roof line is regular hips line, valley line, gable and each overhang line at the end of the building section and at the junction. Provide the information regarding the requ uh, required shape of the roof. The hatching run along its roof plan. Okay, so new line there. Okay. Line there. There the valley line, hip lines, regular lines. Valley lines, hip lines, if line, okay. if overhang line, okay, uh, itu. Okay, step to begins. Eh, outside the wall, a gutter line that include the overhang of the roof beyond the wall. Normally, this gutter line represent a constant level height. Okay, ni dia punya gutter dia. Okay. And then, start with all the hip, convert them a cable letter. And at the end of single kind of the house, whether pointing outward of the recent instrument, start a partial line 
reaching out in what what the split angle in half they are the beginning of the hip angle line stimulation extend all the hip angle line by the same amount the first space of the cross other will be complete those hips some hip angle line one cross ni eh dia punya hip dia naik macam ni dia buat dulu and then if the hip angle line cross the Still more roof there begin a new peak of the line as a many from the close signs collision of the two hips angle line and the continuous at angle that split those two hip angle line continue extending at longer and longer the hip and angle line at peak line eventually some hip angle line will be intersect peak line at the which point they both terminate from this still more roof to go and new hip angle line will be continuous either uphill or downhill depending on the situation okay okay yang ni tadi eh kat sini nanti buat ni alright this one Okay, now the of the wall above with the one and a gable greater than its hips just continue the peak line to the exterior wall it is the hip angle line that came from the corner of the dead same wall if the peak line reach the exterior wall at this middle of it at 90 degrees orthogonal and perpendicular okay Alright, sugar dia, thank you, assalamualaikum.